Hi guys, it's me, Aaron from Passion Community, and today we're going to get into more of the Christmas updates of some what's first. But precisely, we're going to look at all the Christmas updates of London, which is why I want to include London 2023 into this video, because London 2023 is not a Christmas update, but just before it. But today we're going to look at all the Christmas updates of London. And, and of course, a lot of information that I'll check will be in this part, just after the intro. So, to actually say what, what's going on in here is that we're going to look of what, of how special the updates in London are. And we're going to go deeper into that. So it's a support the first network. So we need to check deeply into that and being more direct. So for this second episode of Subwoofer first network, which is short as Subserve network, I'm going to say directly and deeply uh, what London is uh, on the game when it's Christmas time. And to stand out something here, in Subserve Network, we look at the old updates and not the new updates because the new updates are played during the month. So we don't need a Subserve Network episode. But in one year or two years, then it's a great time to say about the update that happened one year ago because it's old. Which is why in Subsurf Network, we all tell the old updates so that you guys know more about Subwoofer first. For the new people that come here, and also for, for people who like Subwoofer first and want to actually see someone expressing about what we think of the update. Just to let you know, I never played Subwoofer first. Well, I actually played Subwoofer first, but not a lot until 2023. So there's a lot of things in this video that might be not. Not something that's not true, but something that it sounds like I don't know about it. And if I miss an information during the video, you can always tell me in the comments below. I'll accept it. And say it in a constructive way, do not say it in a judgment way, if you know what I mean. So all that of that said, let's like let's get into the first section of the video. And yes, we are going to be sections. We're going to be on the first section, which is George the introduction of london and what it what are the main things you need to know about the first london christmas update of subway so first and of course we're going to go deeply in that so of that said let's get to the other section okay so for the first update of the game subway so first on christmas well it isn't a the first update of christmas but the second one to be taking place during Christmas. This edition has a new what well, this edition had a new sorry had a limited character and his name was Jimmy. I don't know if you know the character Jimmy, but Jimmy is an Englishman a current spawning to a site because in episodes I will check the subwoods of first wiki so I'll credit the man behind the information I'll say it is Subwoofer's wiki. I will link his uh, website at the uh, description below of the video because it's important to credit where your sources are. So it says that there are two new other there was two new other words, the snowflake and the jingles. It also says the inspector was dressed up as, as Santa Claus and his dog was a reindeer. It also gave a new addition to Ella, which is crazy, who, who had two outfits, the Rasta outfit and the Gold outfit, which cost 15 keys for the uh, Rasta outfit and 30 keys for the Gold outfit, outfit. And also you had to collect little Christmas trees for the weekly hunt. It was released on November 21st, 2013. So yeah, this information here is by the Subwoofer's Wiki. I'll thank this guy to write this out because, like I said, I never played this update. So there are going to be information that I'll say that it comes 
from Subway Surfers Wiki. So thank you, the guy who is behind Subway Surfers Wiki, to know all of our fans about Subway Surfers. You know, the new fans that want to know about the past Subway Surfers, Subway Surfers Wiki is the best site. I'll link it, I'll link it into the current sub- description box of the episode. But yeah, to go deeper into that, the first, well, the second Christmas update of Subway Surfers that was in 2014, uh, was in London and it included those uh, these new things. The snowflake and the jingles of a board were the two new things they added to the game in 2014, but also Jimmy. So after this section of the video, we're going to be a section where you're going to see pictures of what I mean, and then we'll go to the second update and the third update because the fourth update isn't Christmas. So we're going to talk about all the, the three today. We're going to go deeper into these, but more direct. So for the first one of London, uh, this is what included into the update. But my own opinion about it, I never played about it, but my own opinion about, uh, about it is that it's great that the second update is in London because London has a special place in Christian people's hearts because Christmas is celebrated very well in London, which is England. So that's why for me, it's the best uh, city to go on Christmas because it's very well celebrated by London. So after that, we're going to go into the second update and then the third update, and I give my own opinions about those updates. And also, was also going to have a picture of how it looked like on London 2013. And let you guys know the evolution of it too, because London had a special evolution too. So this is the longest part of video, but the other parts will be more shorter because I have less explanation for what I have now. And the first episodes of a series, I'll give a lot of the explanation so that for later episodes, like episode 10 and episode 11, then you will actually have a routine, we could say, of the series. So now that we have talked about the first update of London, we're going to talk about the second one, which I read a little bit on some of the wiki, and it's new for stuff. So let's get into the second update of London. Okay, so for the second update, uh, the update released Snowflake, and they introduced a character named Buddy, and Buddy had a outfit called the Sunny outfit. It also got a new overboard god named, uh, sorry, named Ruddy, and they also added new of new upgrades for freestyler and a second up, upgrade for big Kauna. And they also have a new they, out, they also had a new Sprinkin award and they introduced the Queen Cutter, which was what we have today. And also it has the same thing as the other, the Spectre being dressed up as Santa and his dog as a rinder. And also, like the previous London update, um, players they needed to collect the little Christmas trees in the weekly hunt. And the update was released on December 4th, 2014. And also, my own opinion about this is that it's good that we gave uh, new upgrades for the overboard, the original overboard of Subway Surfers, because it's like a Christmas gift uh, for fans. And also, we included a lot of things. Also, to stand out here, Jamie was not released in this tour. So, it gives place for Buddy, and I understand it. A lot of people, um, as I can guess from this side, people were a little bit up, were upset that Jamie was not in the update. So, yep, this update was great. Well, it was also a little downside because Jimmy wasn't released. But the great side is that they actually got, they actually 
put new um, your upgrades for the original overboards of Sobota French, which is Kaona, the big Kaona, and Free Starter. And also, they've introduced Queen Carter and Spray Can Award. So, that's the great thing about London. Just like I say to you guys, I think in every video, I don't know, but a lot of videos from the past, I always say, look always on the good sides of something. Never look on the bad side. Look at the good side. Looking the good side gives you an optimistic look and everything will be okay because of it. So yeah, this is all I could say about the second update, my own opinion about it. I never played it, just like I said, but that doesn't mean I'll have a, I won't have an opinion about it. Also, just like I said in the first update, uh, I'll credit the uh, website, the uh, description box, Subway's first wiki. I think this man, the man or woman behind the website to actually create it and write down about this update because someone like me who wouldn't have known about this, um, it could be upsetful because you don't know about the past of Subway's first. But because of Subway's first wiki, you know, no. So it's a good thing, you know, always restore your things, as we say. So this is all for the second update. It's like I did for the first section. I'm going to make a section about the pictures and all, so you could have a visual look of it. I will stay now here. Um, I won't include the big Kauna and the freestyler and the pictures. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to make a CFO short on the same day as the episode to include those images. Or, no, no, it will be included in a CFO short where I'm going to play the game and I'm going to scroll over by Kauna and Freestyle so you have a visual look of it too. And I'll also say at the end of the video about it, also in the description box and also in the community post so that everyone could know. So, on of that said, let's get into the third update of Subway Sufferance. So, for the third update, and I'll say it again, I'll create the Subway Sufferance wiki in the description box. I think the person behind this site, because just like I said, a lot of people need to know about the past. Well, I need to know, but if they want to know about the past of Buster first, then you can read it here. So, on this site, what I've read is that in the London 2018 update, Jimmy was returned and it was for $95,000 in gold coins, you know? And they gave him the new top hat outfit for 15 keys. And they also made a re-release of the limited of a board snowflake for 50,000 gold coins and the fact that this is a christmas special they all added the christmas themed characters and boards which is why i think this update is very good because they added all the land for christmas for london 2018 which is pretty good it's pretty good because everyone can have them in the game and i don't know if it was in real money the other stuff but if it wasn't i'll say it's worth putting them into the game really it's worth and also the difference is that the weekly hunt tokens are now were now gingerbread cookies and not little christmas trees which is also a good thing because they add uh, they added a new token image for the 2018 update of London. And they also released the update on November 29th, 29th, 2018, which is pretty good that they added an update before December because, you know, it's very early from Christmas and it's very good. And I think the first update was very early in November, so it's very good for the first update too. So my own opinion about it, just like I said, is that uh, there's a lot of great stuff about it. The fact that they added all the Christmas stuff is actually pretty good. So I never played the update, just like the others. But as I um, 
my own deduction from the website, the update was very, very great for your fans because they got to get the uh, all the Christmas things from the past. So that's all I'm going to say about this update. Um, also, a great channel that I'll link below to is Macro Mashri. This guy gives actually did a video about the evolution of the London map when it was released in 2023. So I suggest you to watch this video because it gives a really, really the best visual look of the map. So I'll link the video about the evolution of the London map in the description box below. I'll also link the wiki that I actually checked for all the information that I give. So it's proof that I'm not wrong. So, all that said, let's get into the outro, which was, will be short, because I don't want this video to be too long. So, all that said, let's get into the outro. So, wait, we're already at the end of the episode. I know it goes very fast to look at a video like this, but... What I need to say in the outro is that I'll link, as like I said, the other parts, and I'll say it again, and I'll, it's repetitive, but we need to remember that. I'll link the site, as like I said, in the description box, and also link Macromastery's video about the London map evolution, so that you guys have a more visual look of how London has evaluated in years. It also includes the London 2023 update, which I didn't talk in this video, which I might do it for another time, because in January, I'll talk about different things, because talking about London two months is like too much. <laughs> so in January, it will be a different update. But in another time, I'll talk about London 2023. So I hope that you guys... Uh, like this episode of Sub of Subsurf Network is built very differently than the first episode. It's like I said, I think the episode of Child Memories for Christmas. I always try to build different things for the episodes, except for Media Space because it's named AVAQ4. So, and like I said, I think in Media Space, no Media Space, many Child Memories. Uh, in the first episodes of a series, oh, we're always going to be longer a little bit because I need to explain, of course, of how the series will work in the four or five first episodes of the series so that you guys have like a sort of routine and have the information you need for the series. So all of that said, and also I um, actually liked doing this episode for you guys because it's important to know about your past of Subway Affairs. If Subway Surfers Wiki does it, why why am I not doing it too? In this special series. So of that said, if you like this video, like this video to see more episodes of Subway Surf Network, you guessed it, subscribe to the channel. Share this episode with anyone you want them to know about the Christmas logged in updates of Subway Surfers, for small print logged in. And Fourth of all, comment down below about what things that I missed about the update, your opinion about the episode, or just say something great about the video, you know. And all of that said, I wish you all a Merry Christmas, and let's get to another episode of Subserve Network in 2025. Bye, guys, and see you to the next year.